Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in, Winning Cures Everything, college football top 10, and our playoff predictions for the end of the season, which is very quickly approaching. That's it. This is after week number 12. I'm Gary. I'm Chris. Chris, yesterday was, uh, was, it, I mean, about what expected, or about what was expected, but man, like, it, talk about some big losses, big injuries, um, you know, Minnesota's streak ends. I think the top ten remains about the same, but there there's some there's some differences quite a bit here. Different than it was last week. Yeah, yours is different. Quite a bit. Okay, okay. Well, let's uh, now. Mine mine has some changes, yes, but we'll see. Uh, do you want to go first? I mean, I can. Go right ahead. You jump on in with yours, and right. and I'll jump in with mine after. Number one, I have LSU. Okay. Keep on rolling. Number two, Ohio State. Same thing. Beat up bad teams. Clemson, no problem there. All three of them beat up lesser opponents. LSU probably played the best of those three opponents. I don't know if anybody would argue that. And nope. uh, um, all three took, took care of business. Number four, I have Georgia. Georgia went down the plains. I thought they were going to get beat. I didn't think they were going to win this football game. And uh, they did control most of it. They dominated, played really well, and uh, came out with the W. Number five, I've got Alabama still uh, without Tua. Uh, you know, they're probably going to sit in this spot for the next two weeks, and then we'll see how they do against uh, Auburn. Auburn. But, but as of right now, they're the fifth best team in the country. country. Number six, I've got Minnesota. They went on the road, hostile environment, tough situation. This is a spot where everybody expected them to have a massive letdown, and I don't think they had a letdown at all. I think they just got beat, okay? They got beat by a physical team um, on the road in hostile environments. They're number six to me. Uh, number seven, right behind them, I have Penn State. I, I can't have Penn State better than them because they beat Penn State. They never trailed against Penn State. But Penn State didn't look great, still got the win. And and I think that's the most important thing. Eight and nine, kind of lumped them two together, just like I did six and seven. Oregon, Utah. Neither one of these teams have a good win on their schedule, okay? And, and Utah's loss isn't great. And Oregon's loss is getting a little worse. If Bama beats Auburn, it's going to hurt really bad, and I don't think either one of these teams are going to the playoffs, but they will stay in the top ten. Um, and then my number ten, I, I just – I know it's going to be different than everybody else's. It's the tenth best team in the country, and it's and they're actually better than this. I think if I'm just grading on how I think these teams are, like you do, and not based on resume, they would be, I don't know, fifth maybe? It's Michigan. Michigan's the 10th best team in the country in my, my rankings. You don't have one loss to Oklahoma in your top 10 at all? I have Oklahoma 11, Baylor 12. Interesting. Okay. I think Michigan is better than them, and I think the resume is better than theirs. I, you, Oklahoma has played nobody but Baylor. And, you know, the, and they won that game, but they also have a bigger loss Michigan lost to Penn State in a whiteout in a crazy environment, and they lost to a Wisconsin team that was freight training people early on. Yeah, that was that was at Wisconsin. I mean, it was at in Wisconsin. Camp Randall. That's it. And then they've got two big. They've got bigger wins than Oklahoma does. The blowout against Notre Dame is a bigger win than what Oklahoma did last night. All right, and the um, and the win against uh, Michigan last yesterday, Michigan State, just beating the doors off Michigan State. That's a I mean, they have their two big wins. They beat the hell out of those teams. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I see where I you're think, coming from. I just think they're a better football team, and I think the resume is probably equal if we're, if we're splitting hairs. All right, you may be right. You may be right. I, um, all right, yeah, I'll, let's, let's go I on. I knew that was going to be different, but, but I, I'm sticking D- by it. Different is good. Different is good. I can totally understand where you're coming from. Uh, mine is very similar. But we'll go on and run through. Number one, LSU. Two, Ohio State. Three, Clemson. We That's about the same for everybody. Number four, Georgia. If you don't have that in the country, you're wrong. Yeah. By the way. Number four, Georgia. Big win, like massive win yesterday on the Plains. Uh, even though it was only by seven after being up by 21, if you still hold on there, that's that's a massive that's win. incredibly hard place to play. We know that. Uh, number five for me, I've got Utah. 
I I love this Utah team. And remember, they were my playoff pick to start the season. I know. That's like, yeah. That's I've fine. got a ticket for them to make the playoffs at plus nine ninety. So I throw that away. That's I, fine. <laughs> Number six, I've got Oregon right behind them. Uh, this is, remember, mine is eye test and whatever else I feel like throwing in. This is just who I think is the top ten. Number six, Oregon. Number seven, I've got Alabama. Number eight, Minnesota. Number nine, Penn State. And then number ten, I've got Oklahoma. Um, so you've got the Pac-12 back at eight and nine. And I've got the Big Ten back at eight and nine. Um, a little surprised by that. You... Uh, it, you might be right. I mean, the, the Big Ten is at least battle tested. The Big Ten is a much better conference than the yes. Pac-12. Yes, a much better conference than the Pac-12. Now, More than close. Minnesota has has lost to Iowa, but hey, beaten I Penn State. Ask this, by the way, I don't want to interrupt the meeting, but can you hear that the Roomba just turned on in my house? Nope. If you can't hear it, then we keep rolling. Yeah, we yeah, we can keep I rolling. I hear it like champ. That's but, it. No, it's all okay. good on on this end. <laughs> We're good. We are uh, we are all good on that. So yeah, I've got Oklahoma in at ten. Um, I think that was a massive win for them last night, and and they have been steamrolling people. I had them. I had oh, they had been ste- they hadn't steamrolled anybody in a couple of weeks. It, it, right? No, I, I'm with you. I'm with it's you. It's been a month since they steamrolled something. Like they they probably should have lost to Iowa State. Uh, now they, I mean they, as far as steamrolling, if we're going to keep using that, of course, uh, they were steamrolling Iowa State until late in that ball game. They and they, 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 they shouldn't did. have they shouldn't have pumped the brakes. They shouldn't have let off the gas. You know, they didn't have, they didn't have a choice. Iowa State had a lot to do with that. Oh so. no, I agree. I agree. Uh, no, I, I, really, they were in my top ten. They were ten, and then I the, just the more I thought about it, I was just like, I mean, if right now those two teams played, I think I'd have Michigan a seven eight points favorite. Yeah, and I think Michigan would beat them in cover. Their I, defense is real, and I think that offense can score on Oklahoma. Can't stop it. No, they, they can't stop anybody, and I do think I do think Michigan would be able to slow down because they'd be able to turn over Jalen Hurts in them. Yeah, okay, that's oh, that's something great. that's Not something good. I brought up last night. Remember, is uh, Jalen against like he hasn't had to face a really good defense, and then last night was a really good defense, and he turned the ball over four times. That's right, he sure did. So still got the win, but you know it is what it is. Let's uh. Da, 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 da. Let's move into the next topic. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.